Hmm. How shall we start the show? In um, awkward silence. Yeah. So far, so good. Anyway, this is our McWorld, right? Yes. I am Courtney. I am Mallory. And today, we're going to discuss non canon ships from the universe. Yep. Mostly the fictional universe. We're probably not going to talk about real people like me and Chris Pratt. I know he's happily married and stuff, but still, let's be real. We would have made a good match. Yep. But that's not really what we're talking about. And I'm happy for you, Chris Pratt, and your <laughs> baby and your wife and everything. Yes. But we're talking about romantic ships. Yes. And it could be... Yeah, I don't know. It could be... Most of these ships are not people who are ever together in any sort of way. Yeah. So they weren't romantic, physical, anything with each other. So it's kind of a, people ship them even though there was never an indication. Or even if people, because sometimes people, and I've done it too, is like you see, you're like, well, I feel like they had a connection, even if nothing ever happened. So yeah. some, of, some of the ones we might talk about are like that. To where you could argue that they were as a... Yeah. There will be a few, though, that, you know, because we don't want to just recreate our couples that should have been to ended up together list or people, mm -hmm. you know, because honestly, I guess some of those were, you know, like Morgan and Garcia. We wanted them to be together. And let's be real here. They set us up for failure on that show. Okay, I know they were never actually together, but all the signs were there. Yeah. It was so cute. They definitely should have. Yeah. And I guess not really a sort of similar note, but not really. It would be like Daryl and Carol yeah. from The Walking Dead, who we want to end up together, but we don't know that they ever will. And even though like there have been a few like cutesy moments, you yeah. know, they've never really... Been more than friends. Made them a romantic together, so. But the they probably never will be. <laughs> but the two of us and Yvette Nicole Brown will continue to hope for it. We're not giving up. It's not over until it's over. Exactly. And even then, you know. Depending on how it ends, it may still not be over. True. We're also going to go through a couple lists that we found online because a lot of times... Like, most of the time, I would say, we don't just make up ships. Like, we're led a certain way, but other yeah. people now, they can set some ships to sailing that, no, we yeah. never saw coming. <laughs> yeah, normally I go more, the couples that I ship, there's like an obvious connection most of the time. Like, they're, they usually get together in some capacity at some point. Yeah. But, so like the two we mentioned already are kind of some of the exceptions to yeah. where we shipped them even though, but I feel like they're, we still have good cause to ship them. Yeah, for sure. And now some people, I mean, it depends. Some people will defend their ship and say, hey, there was definitely a connection. Right. What, what happened? Like, um, like Snow Queen and... Um, what you call it? Swan, Swan Queen? Queen? Yeah, for once upon a time. Yeah. A lot of, yeah, there was a lot of those. Yeah, I never saw anything more than a friendship with Regina and Emma. Yeah. But a lot of people really shipped those too. Oh, yeah. They had a lot of fans, I remember yeah. back. So that's one that it doesn't, like, I can understand it because... I guess it's like with anything you see, I, you know, like I said, I do it too. You kind of see what you want. So you yeah. interpret, 
people who ship them interpret their moments differently than people who don't. Right. But I can't understand where they're coming from. Yeah. Like, it's not something where I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when people say they ship a certain couple, I'm like, what really? evidence do you have of it? Yeah, and I actually put, I made, a, I made a couple notes, but I actually put a ship on my list that they actually were married, but they were never together. Sansa and Tyrion. You know, at the end, because of course they were married, but you know, at the time, it was a terrible match. Yeah. But then at the end, you know, like when they were hiding in the crypts and stuff oh, together, yeah. I was kind of like, you want to know what? They would make a good match. Yeah, I can see that. I did like their moment they had in that last yeah. season in the crypt. Yeah, I could have seen it. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded that. No. Tyrion had no trouble with powerful women. No. He could have been Prince Consort of the North. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah. So, now here are some. I know there's so many from Harry Potter. None that I necessarily ship. I'm a I'm a pretty big fan. I, I like how most people ended up. I like that Hermione ended up with Ron and that Harry ended up with Ginny because I'm a big believer that people need balance. I mean, you don't want somebody who's your polar opposite. Mm -hmm. But you don't want somebody who's the exact same as you either. Yeah. And so the only ship that I've heard tossed around a bunch that I think would have been good is Neville and Luna. Yeah. Because they didn't end up together. And they would have been a good match. They would have been cute. Yeah. Yeah, some of the... I mean, obviously, people shipped Harry and Hermione. Mm -hmm. And Hermione and Draco. And Harry and Draco. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, the way that the books went, I guess, it would have been weird to like... Like, they would have had to have been more written in there. Yeah before the very end to make it make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. But I don't know. I I feel like if they would have kind of steered Harry toward Draco, I wouldn't have hated it. Like, because they hated yeah. each other so much. <laughs> but if they, you know, I love when people hate each, hate other. each other and then fall in love. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, th I think the whole Dramine thing came more from the movies than the books too because yeah. in the movies I could kind of see Draco and Hermione more so than in the books too but mm -hmm. yeah I mean I wouldn't have been mad about Draco and Harry either because I feel like I mean you know I like Ginny fine mm -hmm. but I feel like there was way more there wasn't as much time to get invested in that them as a couple. Yeah. So I wouldn't have been sad if they didn't end up together. Yeah, no, I don't think I would have. I, I mean, they were. You know, I mean, it was it was cute and nice, but right. I it, was. I didn't, I didn't care about them as much. As right. Some of the other couples. Yeah. And I think that Dumbledore and McGonagall could have been a cute couple too. <laughs> Oh. I mean, I know Dumbledore was, like, in love with Grindelwald, or so we were led to believe yeah. forever. We did, I was going to say, we didn't really know that, really, until after yeah. Harry Potter was over. Yeah. I mean, books were. and, of course, some people, I don't understand this. To me, if the author puts out the work, it's canon. Yeah. But, you know, some people act like Fantastic Beasts and Cursed Child are not Harry Potter canon. And I'm like, well, they exist in the Harry Potter world. Yeah. Maybe I don't understand it. Yeah, I don't know. But I guess if you're only taking Harry Potter, because I don't think when Dumbledore tells them about Grindelwald that they, that we know they were in love. Yeah. I, I, I just don't think that I ever thought that, got that impression in the... Yeah. The books and stuff but I remember that coming out her saying that 
and then being like, well, okay, but I don't know. I didn't get it, I guess. Well, and that, I mean, obviously in Fantastic Beast, there's more of a, yeah. you can tell there's more of a thing going on, but so please. I have some lists that I pinned. If we're ready to move on to lists that other people came up with. Bring it on. Okay. Sirius and Remus. Weren't they? No. No, Ray, okay. Remus Lupin. Remus, yeah. Lupin. No! Because Lupin bees with tonks. Tonks Bees with tonks. (laughs) He should bees with tonks. He should be, and he did bees with tonks. Yeah. So, (laughs) he uh, Birds and bees with tonks. No, I'm too much of a tonks and lupin yeah, person too. to ship that. If there do. were no tonks, then I could get on board. Yeah. But there is a tonks, so I'm out. Because they're, they're, they were actually like my favorite couple from all of Harry Potter books. Yeah. I was really, which it's funny because they didn't show up until later. later on, or she didn't especially. But I really love, I love that extra thing. I think it's on Pottermore. Did you ever read that? It was like a scene from when they were working for the order or whatever and they were first introduced. And, oh, yeah. Um, it was from, I think it, I don't know if it was from his perspective or if it was like just a mm-hmm. third person thing. But anyway, it was really good. Yeah. Another shining moment of coupledom, though, from Harry Potter was Floor and Bill. After Bill got attacked by the werewolf and Floor was like, how could you think I wouldn't stand by you? Yeah. And I was like, dang, Floor is a good person. Yeah. What's up? My little Molly was telling Lupin off. She was like, see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course, Molly and Arthur, Arthur were goals too. Oh, yeah. But, you know. And me and Bill from the book, me and Bill. Okay, anyway. Jamie and Brienne, they got together. Yeah, they didn't. They should have ended up together. The the show is stupid. Okay. Bella Swan and Tyler's van. <laughs> Cold-blooded. <laughs> and the van. I didn't write the list. <laughs> Somebody else did. <laughs> Bella and Mike. How about that? Yeah, Bella and Mike. Now, I'm here for <laughs> Bella and Mike, okay? Because, listen, Bella got on my nerves. Bella got on everybody's nerves. If you sit here and say, Bella was great, you are a liar, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. And so, and I know the whole Bella and Edward, like, if we're getting down to brass tacks, I did want her to be with Edward. She was for Jacob. But uh, if we're really being honest with ourselves, we wouldn't wish Bella on either of those guys <laughs> because they were both so much better. I especially wouldn't wish her on Jacob because I like Jacob a whole lot, but that's why I didn't want him to be with Bella. That's a reason. <laughs> Team Mike. Anything to add? That sums it up. <laughs> okay. Dean and Cass. I've heard that so much. I mean, personally, I know, I, you know, I don't necessarily ship them, but I mean, I'm not against it. There's really not anybody much to ship on that show because they they have love interest temporarily sometimes. Yeah. Sam has a new love interest. Really? Final season is not a, has I aired. It was supposed to be over by now, but you know, pandemic and whatnot. Yeah. Betty and Daniel from Ugly Betty. Yes. You know what? I don't. I don't even think they were on my list of people who should have ended up together, and they should have been well. because they. Now I will say, when I first started watching Ugly Betty, I honestly thought they were going to get together. Yeah. Like, it would just seem like the obvious path. Because at first, of course, he was all very shallow, too. and mm-hmm. um, But they kind of 
do you want me to tell you? I don't know if you were. You can tell. <laughs> Spoiler alert, obviously. For all the things. Go ahead. But in the finale, he she went off somewhere to take a job. And he decided to quit and go follow her. And he showed up and asked her if she wanted to go get drinks or something. But that was it. Like, nothing ever happened. Oh. Yeah. But we like to, by we, I mean me, imagine that they ended up together. Baby, did. Cap and Iron Man. <laughs> I don't see it. No, I don't. That That's not one I can see. Which I know we've talked, I don't know what else on there, but we've talked a little bit about Captain America. A lot of people ship him and Bucky. Yeah. And I can see that more than him and Iron Man. Yeah. I, feel, I don't feel like there was ever a, that much of a connection with him and Iron Man. No, I know a lot of people also ship Cap and Black Widow, but Black Widow and Hulk. Yeah, I like Black Widow. Of course, originally I wanted Black Widow to be with Hawkeye before they came up and was like, look, Hawkeye has a whole family, a whole and, secret family. And then we were like, well, I guess he should be with them. Guess that's off the table. <laughs> so, uh, I'm for her and the Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Barney and Lily from How I Met Your Mother. No. That's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next. I mean, well, you know how I feel, obviously, about um, Barney and Robin should have ended up together. Yes. But Lily and Marshall were too great to. Yeah. They were more so Lily and Marshall. I wouldn't want them to not end up together. Yeah. Then, but no, I didn't ship it. Mm -mm. Sherlock and John from Sherlock. I get that. That's another really big one in the fandom world, I think. People talk about them a lot. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I mean, I know he had Mary. Did she die? Or did she fake die? Or did she not? They thought she was going to die and she didn't. Well, she was evil. But she wasn't evil. Yeah. Because they had a baby, right? Yes. Charlotte and then comes she on either really apart. or fake died. And she was either really or she was fake evil, too. Yeah. I think she was fake, but they thought she was the bad guy, but then she was helping them. But then I think she might have died. I don't know. Charlotte only comes on every five years, so we don't know. <laughs> well, we haven't rewatched it. Uh -uh. I would think that some people ship Sherlock and um, Professor Moriarty. Oh, I'm sure. Of course, Shory people liked Arden. him and what's her face? Irene. Adler. I didn't like her. I never liked that woman. What about when Sherlock? Was she, was that who Rachel McAdams played in the Robert Downey Jr. ones? Yes. Well, that was okay. Yeah, she was fine. But on the show, Sherlock, I didn't like her at all. Now on elementary, Sherlock and Watson, also probably a good idea. Oh, yeah. Maybe have you watched that? I have not watched it, but I've seen the... I watched parts of it. How about Basil and Dawson? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Dr. Dawson. Lucas and Haley Scott from One Tree Hill. Now, I will say, when the show first started, I, when I, you know, you're still learning all the characters, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, well, maybe there'll be a ship, but then after a while, it really wasn't. Yeah. Then it was just kind of like, no, no, they're just friends, and obviously, they're not in love with each other. Yeah. Which, from the very first episode, Haley actually said... Something about not being in love with Lucas. Well, <laughs> I think. I really like Naley anyway. I know you weren't as big into Naley. Now, but I did for a time kind of want Haley to be with Chris Keller. <laughs> <laughs> Unpopular well, opinion over here. I realize that. I always really liked Chris Keller. Obviously, he was kind of a tool, but he was funny. And he was Tyler Hilton. And he entered, you know, Tyler Hilton came into our lives. Jade and Tori from Victorious. Uh, I mean, meh. Okay. I did 
Now, I did, when the show first started, I kind of wanted Tori to be with Beck, and you know, him and Jade were always together. Yeah. But I was more, I was really on that show, I was mostly invested in Robbie and Kat more than anybody else. Yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind a Jade and Tori. Um, they would have been fine. Phoebe and Joey from Friends. It's a no from me, dog, because... <laughs> As you know, if you watch our other episodes, Joey should have been with Rachel and Phoebe was fine with Mike. Yeah, I like, uh, I like the way that they ended up, um, her with Mike and, I don't know, I guess Joey had technically ended up with nobody, but yeah, he did go on to get his own show temporarily, but mm -hmm. I never really shipped the two of them. I know it seemed like they were just pairing everybody up, Yeah, but... I thought, you know, they were better as friends. They were both too goofy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> to be together. Brooke and Nathan from One Tree Hill. I think they hooked up once, at least. Yeah, I don't know. But, mm, no. Hey, this list says Tori and Beck. Well, I have that one. Said that. Sansa and Theon. I can see that, sort of. I mean, by the end, I mean, Theon, of course, for a while, I was like, Theon sucks. Yeah, Theon after he did suck. betrayed everyone. But then he did redeem himself, and I did like when they reunited, and they were so. Yeah. But. That was nice, but, you know. I think just because, which I know he was reek and he was brainwashed and all that stuff, but still, Theon was just, for a little bit there, I just kept being like, dude, come on. Yeah, he just kept doing, thought he would be better, and then he wasn't. Yeah. Disappointment. Peggy and Angie from Agent Carter. She was the, oh wait, no, was that the roommate? Yep. Okay. That worked in the diner? No. I mean, I could more see her and, uh, what's her face? The bad, what was the bad lady's name? San Rostro? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't remember her name. Mostly because every time I see her, I think San Rostro, and 98% of the time she turns out to be evil on whatever it is. Yeah. Outcast. I, I could more see that, that. Than her and her roommate. Yeah. Her yeah. and the, I mean, I didn't really ever think there was any kind of thing with her and that girl. No. What was that lady's thing? I'll think of it. I was going to blurt it out later. Probably be later on. Dottie Underwood. <laughs> that was her name. There you her. go. I watched it more recently. Becca and Chloe from Pitch Perfect. That was Brittany Snow and Anna Kendrick. Yeah, I could kind of see that, but I did want Becca to be with, um, what's his face? Yeah. Skylar Aston's <laughs> character. <laughs> Jack Harkness and, well, anyone. Literally what the list says. That's true. That is true. Jack Harkness can be with anyone. Of course, that's how we feel about Caroline from Vampire Diaries a lot of the time, too. Yeah, it's like you put them with any person and you're like, I like it. Yeah. Not many characters are like that. Yeah. Although, honestly, though, he was best with Yonto. Yeah. Yonto's. That was the sad. That was a sad thing. One day, we're going to do, we could do a list of the saddest deaths. From things or the most devastating oh my or the gosh. most anger making. That will be so many. I have so many too. But it'll be had to be in two parts. <laughs> it'll be a two part, maybe more. Andrea and Dylan from Beverly Hills nine oh two one oh. I mean I guess that would I don't know. I used to really like Beverly Hills 90210, but I don't think I've ever actually seen the whole show. So it's hard for me to say, but I know she was kind of the smart, brainy girl, so I, I'm sure I would have been yeah. for that okay a little bit it. because, you know, like I said, that, I don't know much about them. Kind of me, but also I don't want him to be with Kelly, so. Catherine and Gil from CSI, they were the main two people. 
I don't. I just figured they did get together. Yeah. What do we know? Benson and Stabler. But yeah, Benson and Stabler. I did ship them. Me too. Here's your one from one of your most beloved shows, Joyce and Rupert Giles. Now I do ship that. I do ship that. I'm on board. They would have been really cute. And also, they did have a brief thing in an episode where I think it was the episode um, Band Candy. <laughs> Don't test my Buffy knowledge. Where they were selling this candy and it made all the adults like into teenagers again. And the two oh. of them were making out somewhere. Oh. And they were like, what is happening? But then after it was over, they were like, well, whatever. But uh, yeah, I would have been on board with that. Yeah. Bonnie and Damon. No. I mean, I was for it for a little bit, but I think Bonnie and Enzo should have ended up together. Yes. And he'll not have died. Yeah. I like Bonnie and Damon's friendship. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't have wanted them to be romantic, but of course, you know, I wanted him to be with Elena, so. Yes, that too. Delena forever! That's a Damon forever. No. no. And last but not least on this list, which is the last list. Phyllis Vance and Stanley Hudson from The Office. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Add her to the harem that Stanley was running. Right? Stanley was getting, he had a mistress and a <laughs> wife. But No. No way she'd ever leave Bob Vance of Vance Refrigeration. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. That's a that's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, I can't really see that, but, you know, whatever. Now, maybe Creed and Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been a weird one, too, but I could see it. Yeah. Yeah, I could have seen that one. Yeah. But, so, okay. Whatever. Yeah, you... Hey, look, if you want to ship it, you go ahead and ship it. Ship it. Shipping is complicated, especially when another ship comes along that you think, this is not a bad ship, but it's not my ship. It's kind of like your ship at, like, okay, Carol and Daryl is a yacht. Mm -hmm. Carol and King Ezekiel is like a sailboat. Nothing wrong with a sailboat. That's not the best ship you could have. Right. <laughs> which is Carol and Daryl. So, let us know what you think in the comments. Are there other non-canon ships that you love? Yes. That we didn't talk about. Or if we, if we did. Probably. I'm sure there's lots we haven't thought of or weren't on the list that we might ship to. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, let us know. And like and subscribe. Yep. Come back. For more lists, for all kinds of stuff. It's a wild world around here. Mm -hmm. So, like a box of chocolates. It is. You never know what you're gonna get, <laughs> but it'll always be awesome. Mm -hmm. It won't be, you know, whatever kind of chocolate you don't like. Tough to say, cause see, like I could have said coconut, but some people like coconut. I like coconut. Me too. I don't like dark chocolate. It would have been a dark chocolate with a dark chocolate inside that Mal got a hold of. I'd have been cool with that because I like that. It would be worse is if it was dark chocolate and it had cherry inside. But if it was milk chocolate and it had cherry inside? That would also be kind of terrible. It would be good. <laughs> I don't like cherry. It would be like if it was a chocolate that had a turd inside. <laughs> <laughs> It will never be like that on here. It will, it will always be chocolate with good filling on the inside. With caramel. Milk chocolate with caramel on the inside. Yeah. Or peanut butter. Now we're just talking about chocolate and we're getting hungry. Yes. So we got to turn this off. We'll see you guys later. See ya. Bye. Yes. Welcome back. Yes. Hopefully back. We're not. Welcome. New. Well, welcome for the first time. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Camera! 
Our camera operator sucks. I think. Also, it's a candle. The candle is not strong enough to hold. But this is a real high tech outfit. The failure of a candle. <laughs> Bad candle. That candle is the worst camera operator we have ever had. Mm -hmm. So it's been replaced. Back to the show.